Okay. So what we're going to talk about is how to identify different um, exponential functions um, and how to use this, how to use exponential properties to do this. So we're going to rearrange and simplify some exponential functions, determine if any are equivalent, that means equal to each other. So without further ado, we're going to try to figure out does this function, do any of these functions correlate with one another? Well, to do this, what we're going to do is we're going to break up this into um, values that have the same base. So in this case, if you notice that all these functions pretty much have the same base of 4, all right, F4. So what we're going to do is try to find out if we can create these and different ways to create these as a base of 4. So for example, um, 16 can be 4 squared. So I'm going to write that as 4 squared. That's times 4 to the negative x power. Now, using property of exponent, this function f, though it looks like this, where it has a reflection over the um, y-axis and is being vertically stretched by 16 units, we can actually also write this as 4 minus x and add our exponents together, plus 2. So those are two equivalent expressions. This right here, okay, when we have this, we can actually write this as 4 to the negative first power. And then we have x minus 2 right there. Now, using the properties of exponents, we realize that, I should try using a different color, get these kind of separated. All right, so negative 1, and then we have x minus 2. Is that when we have this property of exponents, so we can get these and see if they are equivalent, all right, I can now take this exponent and distribute it or multiply it to 4 to the negative first. So this actually equals 4 times x minus 2 times negative 1, which is 4 negative x plus 2. Now, by doing so, you can see that, yes, this equation right here is equivalent to this equation right there. Okay? Both are equal uh, to each other. Okay, so these two, f of x and g of x, are both equivalent so far. Now we go to the next one. By looking at this, I can once again take 4. All right, 16 can be broken into 4 squared. Um, now, we have this 2. Now, notice that we have negative 2. So if I take this, I can actually write that as 2 squared to the negative x power, okay? That's how we can break up this exponential. By doing so, we have 4, 2, and then we have times 4 to the negative x. We did that so, once again, we can compare apples to apples, or oranges to oranges, however what metaphor you want to use. Because I need a base of 4, and I have a base of 4 for each of these, so I needed a base of 4 for this one. And it just so happened that I had 2, and 2 squared is 4. Now from here, I now have the same base again. I can add my exponents, 4, negative x, plus 2. And you realize that, yes, these two, or this function as well as f and g, are all equivalent expressions. It all represents the same function. They are just written differently. We can also look at that through this example. Okay? By looking at this example, we are given several different exponential functions. By using the matching game, I can take and look at, okay, this is 3 times 3 to the x minus 1. Well, I want to simplify this into some sort of expression. So I can have 3 to the 3x minus 1, so I can add these exponents together. And this is equivalent to 3 and the exponents, 3 to the x. So which one is equivalent? Well, this one right here. Another one that might be equivalent, if I want to rearrange this another time, is where we have, um, well, 3 times 3x and times 3 to the negative first. Well, 3 times 3x to 3 to the negative first, well, you can see that that also is equivalent to this. Because whenever you're adding or subtracting exponents, it's the same or equivalent expression as writing all right, the product of two different terms of the same base. Other values, when we have right here, 
we can simplify this a little farther, and we can say that we have 3 times 3x. This right here is actually 1 third, because 3 to the negative first power is 1 third. And so we once again, we see that, yes, 3 times 1 third to 3 to the x, those are all the equivalent expressions to the one we have here. These ones, we can toss out of here because they don't work. All right. So what we just did was we went through another example um, of writing equivalent expressions and identifying using proper exponents to do so. Hope this helps out as you go through and do a matching game of trying to rearrange different exponential equations to try to find equivalent or simplifying um, to make the equations easier.